<laughs> How dare you! You have stolen my childhood with your honest reviews, and my controller is the best. How have you been disliking it till the end? How dare you! What? That speech reflects the growing public outrage. Not again! What's up YouTube? Welcome to Roman Dust Consumer Tips and today we're looking at quite a few controllers for Nintendo Switch. And this on me is not a parachute, it's not a backpack, this is Wooger. If you want to know what Wooger is, this is a haptic response vest and the rest I'll tell you about it in my next video. So make sure you hit that subscribe and like button to keep up to date with the video when it comes out. But going back to the controllers, I scavenged them from all corners of Amazon with one sole purpose, to find out if the cheaper ones are worth it and if they're comparable to the more expensive ones. And the results are actually interesting. Here is the price range for all the controllers that I have on my desk right now. So let's see what works and what doesn't. On the first side, all these controllers are identical to each other, more or less, and you would expect them to function in about the same manner. But is it so? Let's find out. The next on my list is Stoga Wireless Pro Game Controller 4 SWH, whatever that stands for. It's a weird controller, as you can see it from the shape on the picture, and it feels just as weird when you touch it with your hands. It's so ugly and unpresentable that it actually makes it quite good, you know, like it fits the hands properly. Again, I have pretty big hands, so if you're on a smaller side, I guess this might be not the best choice for you, but for me it fits pretty well. The first thing you'll notice when you start using it are the triggers, they are massive here, they're huge, look at them. So you have to press a lot harder and more to activate them. The bumpers are okay, the thumbsticks, they are similar to what Hori provides here. They are large, they are responsive, but not responsive enough. Not like on one of these and definitely nothing close to the original Joy-Cons. Let's play some game with it. So as I mentioned earlier, it's weird to be held in the hands when you're not used to it and it gets better over the time. But one of the things you'll notice immediately are not even the massive triggers that you have to press harder. Surprisingly, at the end of the day, they work pretty well and do their job. Thumbsticks, they're not as responsive as you would expect them to be. Not too bad, but they're not great either. Same as with every other controller we tested so far. Vibration is what kills this controller. Just listen to it. It's about two feet away now. Now let's listen to it closer. You hear it? Same as with this controller over here, it doesn't have that grading of the vibration. So if you're in a situation where you have to find things by vibration, again, it's not gonna work for you just like with the previous controller. And this vibration is massive, like it's shaking my hands. I feel like if I will be holding this thing for like a couple of hours straight and uh, you know, having all this vibration going through, my hands will be shaken by the end of the day. Oh, here's that. That's how strong it is. So it's definitely on the cheaper side and if you're looking for a budget version, maybe go for this one. A great attempt by someone. And I was quite surprised when I saw the USB-C charging port because for this price point, normally the devices are still charged with the micro USB. So my final verdict for this controller, it goes to the right section here, into the bucket with the things that still need some kind of work done on them. Now, before I sum up this video, Let's make sure you hit that like and the subscribe button and the bell icon below. Let's tickle those YouTube algorithms and help other people find this video, as I think it would be helpful to many folks just like yourself. Now back to the controllers. As we discovered, the price and brand don't really matter that much when you're buying a additional controller for your Nintendo Switch, but what matters is the vibration response, the built-in gyro, and the overall tactile feel of the controller. And with that said, I have to say that all the Hori controllers 
turned out to be horrible. Maybe that's why the entire brand is called Hori. But definitely avoid them, they're not worth it and they are on the mid to higher range of the price scale here. At the same time, try to avoid any of the random controllers just like this one, since many of them are poorly made and the overall longevity of this controller are questionable. How long will it last? Then we covered some of these funny shaped controllers by the same company, by the way, who makes one of these. And I can tell you that if you're buying it for the kids, this could be a good choice, as long as your kids are careful with their toys. Then we have one of these controllers that I prefer to like most of this on the table. And for its price, I think it does pretty good job. It feels solid and well built. Definitely something that any user on a budget should check out. Then we have the Pro Controller, the original Pro Controller by Nintendo. And to be honest, I'm slightly disappointed because for the price point, it's not really worth it. Yes, it's not as expensive as the Pro Controllers for Xbox, let's say. But still, I personally feel like the original Joy-Cons that come with the Nintendo Switch are doing job just fine. And the only reason why I would choose the Pro Controller by Nintendo over, let's say, the game sir, which I really liked, is the vibration. But if your games don't require that specific tactile precise vibration, then maybe game sir is actually a great alternative because it can be paired with a lot of other devices. It has great sensors built into it for the gyro and the overall features, even that additional hook for the cell phone are definitely a plus. So it's unbeatable at its price point across all these controllers except for the Pro Controller and, of course, the original Joy-Cons. Here's a quick Roman score for all these controllers. And on that note, I'll see you again. Make sure you're subscribed because some cool videos coming out shortly. See you soon.